Welcome to Maxoom Tech Tips. In this video, I'll look at how to prepare PDF files for conversion to interactive online presentations using a combination of two free software applications, GoScript and PDFTK. Maxoom can automatically convert PDF files to high resolution images that can be used to deliver interactive online catalogs. The ideal PDF format is one where the PDF contains single pages for the cover, left side, and right side. When a PDF in this format is uploaded to the Maxoom server, Maxoom automatically converts each page to a high-resolution TIFF file, saves them, and also stores the original PDF online for download. You may be supplied with a PDF that is configured to show both pages together, what is called a double-page spread. When a PDF in this format is uploaded, Maxoom cannot automatically crop the document into left and right pages. Instead, it splits the document and converts each double page as if it were one page. If you do have a double page spread PDF and want to create an online catalog, you will need to obtain a new PDF that's formatted as single pages or modify the double page spread to be single pages yourself. In any PDF uploaded to MagZoom, compatibility is critical as PDFs generated by various page layout programs add additional elements that stop MagZoom from splitting the PDF. If a PDF file compatible with six or above is uploaded to MagZoom, it will not be rendered for use as a catalog. However, the uploaded PDF will still be stored as an asset in Maxoom and available for download. If you have a double page spread PDF and cannot get a single page version, there are two ways you can prepare that PDF for Maxoom. The first way uses Adobe Acrobat Pro. The second uses two free software applications, GoScript and PDFTK. Acrobat Pro is great if you want a visual interface to prepare your PDF. The only drawback to using Acrobat Pro is that the application doesn't have a concatenate function. So split pages have to be manually concatenated, which may take some time on large documents. To modify your PDF using GoScript and PDFTK requires you to use the terminal and type in command lines that prompt the application to perform the different tasks. This allows you to create Maxoon ready PDF files very quickly, regardless of the number of pages contained within the PDF file. Both sets of software work on Macintosh and Windows systems. As I said, in this video I'll take you step by step through the process of modifying a double page spread PDF using the free software applications GoScript and PDFTK. At the end of the video, I'll provide links to download pages. I'm using the Macintosh for this presentation, but the applications work the same way on Windows systems. It's a three step process to prepare our double page spread document. The first one is to crop the document to create two halves, the left hand side and the right hand side. Then we need to take both those sides and split those documents to create single pages. And lastly, we need to concatenate the document to put the single pages back together in the correct order. The first step is to crop the document. I have a double page spread document that I want to convert to a single page format. By selecting the file and right clicking on it, I can see that the document size is 1190 by 841 points. That means the center of the document is at 595 points. I'll open the terminal and navigate to the folder that contains the file. I need to create two PDFs cut from the right and left halves of the PDF. To do so, I'll use a terminal command like this. The three elements I need to set are the name of the output document, the width and height of the crop, and the name of the original document. As I'm starting from the left, my offset will remain at 0, 0. To crop this document and generate a PDF with all of the left-hand pages, the command would look like this. In order to calculate the correct output media size, I need to set the size in pixels. To do so, I take the original width in points, 1190, divide it by 2, because I want to crop it in half, to 595, and then multiply it by 10 to match PDF Write's default resolution of 720 dpi which gives me 5950. The height remains the same and is only multiplied by 10 to 8410. I add this command to the terminal screen and select return. The terminal screen readout shows the pages being processed and the new file is saved to the same folder as the original. If I open the PDF, I can see that all of the left-hand pages are included. I'll repeat the process with the following command that changes the output name and moves the page offset. I've set the offset to minus 595 to move the crop start point to the right. The pages are processed and the new file is saved to the same folder as the original. If I open the PDF, I can see that all of the right hand pages are included. 
Now that I have both sides, I need to split all of the pages from both the left and right documents. To do so, I will use a terminal command like this. The two elements I need to set are the name of the original document and the name of the output document. In this instance, I want to name all the files in the format 00-a.pdf. So I use the command percentage %0.2d. If I had a document with more than 99 pages, I would use percentage %0.3d, etc. I add this command to the terminal screen and select return. I now have 24 individual PDF files representing each page of the brochure. The next step is to put the document back together in the right order, or concatenate it. To do this, I'll use the following command. The only elements I need to set is the name of the output document. I add this command to the terminal screen and select return. Now I have a file with all of the pages assembled and I can view the single page PDF file. The only issue I have is that the back cover page is in the page 1 position, when I obviously want it at the end of the document. To move page 1 to the end, I'll use the following terminal command. The three elements I need to set are the name of the original document, the page range, and the name of the output document. 2-end1 tells the application that the document should be changed so that page 2 to the end of the current document comes before page 1. I add this command to the terminal screen and select return. Now I have a file with all of the pages assembled and in order. The file is now ready to be uploaded to MacZoom and it will be converted on the fly for use as an interactive online brochure. The PDFTK process has also optimized the document to be compatible with Acrobat 5 and later. If you have control over the generation of your PDF files, having them output in a compatible format for MacZoom is the best option. However, this may not always be the case, and by following the simple steps in this presentation, your PDF file will be processed ready for publishing perfectly. The following links take you to pages on the web where you can download the software. To view an alternative method using Adobe Acrobat Pro, review the video MacZoom, Crop, Split and Merge a PDF using Acrobat Pro. For more information, visit our website or check out more of our videos on YouTube channel MacZoom Imaging.